A job is an action that Oracle OS Management Hub takes against one or more instances, such as installing updates or attaching software sources. When a job runs, it applies updates to instances, a group of instances, or all instances in a compartment. Instances are systems that are managed by OS Management Hub. A job can be run immediately or scheduled for a future date and time. In this video, we will define job types, find jobs in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, review the jobs resource, manage scheduled jobs, and analyze successful and failed jobs. Some common types of jobs taken on instances are installing packages, updating and removing packages, updating security, updating bug fixes, updating case splice, enabling module streams, and attaching and detaching software sources. In addition, there are jobs like synchronizing management station mirrors or configuring a management station, and there are jobs that take action on lifecycle environments, like promoting version custom software sources through lifecycle stages. To view the jobs at a compartment level, open the navigation menu and click Observability and Management. Under OS Management Hub, click Jobs. The Jobs table displays three tabs, Scheduled Jobs, In-Progress Jobs, and Completed Jobs. For Scheduled Jobs, the job name, type, next execution, reoccurring, and target are displayed. For In-Progress, the name, type, time created, and status are displayed. And for completed jobs, the name, type, time created, and status is also displayed. This table is identical to the jobs resource table, which is displayed on a group, lifecycle environment, management station, or instances details page. To view jobs for a specific resource, like a group or lifecycle environment, navigate to the resource under OS Management Hub. Open the main menu, select Observability and Management, and then select the resource like Groups. On the Groups page, select a group, and on the Groups Details page, select the Jobs resource. This job resource displays jobs for only that specific resource. The Jobs resource has a consistent user interface found on the Details page of the group, lifecycle environment, management station, or instance that you're working with. On the Job Resource table, we can view all jobs and manage scheduled jobs. OS Management Hub only permits editing and deletion of scheduled jobs. From this page, we can delete a scheduled job, finding and selecting the scheduled job, and then clicking Delete. To edit details of a scheduled job, let's click on the name of the scheduled job. On the Jobs Details page, we can edit, and we can delete the job. To make changes to the scheduled job, click the Edit button. On the Edit panel, only the name, description, and schedule of the job can be edited. We can set the date and time of the next job, the frequency, and select the interval of the frequency. And we can also set the frequency to once, so the job occurs once. Next, let's review the details of a completed job, like updating an instance. Open the navigation menu, click Observability and Management, and under OS Management Hub, click Instances. Select the instance. Then on the Jobs resource, select from the Completed Jobs tab a specific job. On the Jobs Details page, a green background is displayed which indicates a successful job. We can view the Jobs Logs messages by clicking on the Logs Messages resource on the left-hand side. On the Logs Messages resource, we can select a log and view the entire job transaction. The transaction displays the output of the job taken on the instance. This text output is similar to the output of logging into the instance via terminal and running the install command yourself. Next, let's review the details of a failed job. Open the navigation menu and click Observability and Management. Under OS Management Hub, click Jobs. On the Jobs resource, let's filter by status and select a failed job. On the Jobs Details page, a red background is displayed, which indicates a failed job. The details of the job are listed under the Job Work Information, and we can view the job's error messages by clicking on the Error Messages resource on the left-hand side. On the Error Message resource, we can select a message and view the entire failed transaction. Viewing and analyzing these error messages can be used to identify the reason for a failed job. 
To learn more about creating and managing jobs with Oracle OS Management Hub, visit the jobs documentation.